everyone, this is a video tutorial to help you with E2 product prediction. In this case here, we're going to be looking at a situation where the beta carbon has only one hydrogen attached to it. So if we take a look at this alkyl halide here, there's our alpha carbon. Now this alpha carbon does have two betas. It has this beta carbon and this beta carbon. But due to regioselectivity, this is the beta carbon that we're going to use in order to form the alkene. So what happens is the base that we have attacks the hydrogen, breaking this bond, forming a double here, and at the same time the bromine group is kicked off. As you can see, I have a fixed configuration that I have drawn for this starting alkyl halide. So now, the configuration of each of these wedged and hatched substances will not change. All we're doing is removing the H and removing the bromine. So when we get this product, this is the only product that can come out because the configuration is set. So in this case, we will get a Z isomer. There will be no E isomer coming out. So in a case where your carbon has only one hydrogen attached to it, you're going to have a fixed configuration that comes out. So make sure you're very aware of what the starting configuration is because that will affect what the product configuration is that you will predict.